out to be historic, as I mentioned in my remarks in the program book. So I'm David Marston, and on behalf of Rob Burke and the entire staff of Pinball Expo, welcome to the 35th year. Yeah. I'll be... Uh, I'll be talking later tonight about uh, the history, along with Rob Burke, at uh, 8.30 p.m. Our first speaker today, Dino Gaspari, is uh, from a foreign country, Canada. <laughs> Sometimes we forget that Canada is a different country, but uh, came here from Montreal, uh, and he has two spots on the calendar, uh, by the way, the October 14th edition is what we're going by here. Uh, so it's slightly newer than what you have in the program books. I think the rest of the afternoon up through Gordon Hasse is all the same as what you have in your program books. Uh, so in this time slot, Dino is uh, representing pinballdepot.ca and he has a really interesting idea that uh, down below the level of the boutique and the low production games, what about one-off games? What if that could be systematic? And we'll hear more about his plan to provide that service. Do you know? Did everybody have their double espressos this morning? Yeah? I promise you're not going to need another one after I'm done. Uh, so, so to give you a little bit of uh, information on who, what I've done in the past, I've been buying and selling pinball machines for 20 years online. And um, had my love affair start in 1979 with uh, Aladdin's Castle in center grade 37, as I used to play as a kid. And uh, the, the, the love just kept getting deeper and deeper. So I started to uh, buy and sell machines basically just to, uh, to finance my addiction. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had a chance of working with uh, um, an airbrush artist who designs hand uh, drawings of whatever it is that you want to see on a play field. He airbrushes it, he clear coats it 12 times, and then all of a sudden you have the most beautiful machine you have ever seen designed exactly the way you want. It's a one-off, it's an artist's rendition, so there's never any issues with licensing or anything like that. We did uh, create a uh, Pinball Depot, uh, did create uh, a, cu a custom 35th anniversary pinball for the show, which you can see in the vendors. If you haven't already seen, it's up on our website. And so, um, I, I, and I'm also gonna talk a little bit later tomorrow at 6.30 uh, about shipmypinball.com. We already have a, a very uh, nice network in place for people who go across the country and diligently carry our pinball machines. Uh, for those who are geographically not placed in the right location and can't reach those people, we also have a portal called shipmypinball.com, which will be launching in a couple of weeks. And that'll provide you with uh, amazing discounts. We've been shipping for 20 years. We have relationships in place with some of the biggest trucking companies. And uh, just for example, we shipped a, uh, a pinball, it was a Gorgar pinball to Puerto Rico from Montreal, terminal to terminal, to $224 US. So I know there's a lot of guys out there that have been saying, hey, I want to get that machine, but you know what, you're just a little bit too far, Dino, or whoever's selling the machine. So I wanted to pass along an opportunity to be able uh, to, to show you uh, the discounts available to the community, make the discounts available to the community. So why don't we just get started with a little bit of a slideshow. What you're looking at, oops, that's a pretty quick slideshow. Let me get out of here. All right, can everybody see that? It's a custom pinball is within your reach. That's a Buccaneer playfield. And that Buccaneer playfield was stripped, sanded down, the, the design was drawn, and then it was hand airbrushed. So it is actually a real work of art. Um, what we're here to tell you is that 
you can design your own custom pinball. It's within your reach. You don't need to provide uh, all of the all of the machine. I mean, if you have a machine that you want to convert because you know the play field's completely destroyed and you lost the black back glass in a previous shipping accident, we make the back glasses as well. So let me get to the next slide so I can go to my points. First of all, can, I'd like to know how many people are from overseas here. So ship my pinball. Will, where are you from? Chamonix <laughs> Laval. So, so okay. Thanks for coming, everyone. And um, so, so we can uh, custom retheme most pinballs. SS or EM. If you have a pinball machine, like I said, that you it was the back glass was broken and the play field is not really salvageable, we'll take that machine, sand it down. We'll make the back glass that you want, and we'll make the play field that you want. It can be anything. It's remember that it's a one-off. So there's never any licensing issues for anybody because it's an artist's rendition. It's like a work of art. It's a painting, okay? So, so um, like I said earlier, 12 coats of clear coat car paint are applied. That thing will, the play field will never run out after that. Um, we got a back glass decal. So if you have a specific, I had a guy do a Jack Daniels pinball and he wanted a, somebody on a, him and his wife on a motorcycle on the back glass, he got it. You just have to sell, send a proper resolution pick. Uh, new tempered top glass. All parts on the play field are new, and you can pick and choose what kind of lighting you want, but the play field parts are all brand new. Uh, <clears throat> takes about a month to do the work. There's hours and hours of work to disassemble, sand, coat, paint, and we re re do all, everything that needs to do to make it happen. So. Um, you can pick and choose color themes, parts. If you like one vendor over another, we can order from the vendor of your choice. That's not a problem. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, substantial shipping discounts with, with Pinball Depot. Ship my pinball, same company, subsidiary company that'll give you a portal to get cheaper shipping rates. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, tomorrow at 6.30 about Ship My Pinball. So the average price, because it all, always comes down to, you know, what's it gonna cost me? You're going to have your own pinball machine the way you want it on the machine that you want, whether it's an EM or an SS, whatever machine you want to supply. We can supply machine too, but most people like it. So if, if you're supplying the machine, you're looking at three to three thousand to thirty five hundred dollars a machine. Uh, there's over a hundred hours of work there. It's a one off, and uh, obviously it's it's going to be uh, something that uh, is going to appreciate in value because it's a, a in my opinion, it's a work of art. It, have a look when you get a moment at the Pinball Expo. There's actually crystals in the paint that shines off the play field. You'll never see a machine like that. Pinballs are getting expensive as we go. Why not have the one that you want? So it's within your reach. It's not difficult. And because we get great shipping rates, what I, the reason I'm talking about that is it means we can actually have you ship. I'm doing a, I'm doing a Cleveland Browns uh, uh, pinball on a Monday night football as we speak. Uh, for, uh, for for Rob, and uh, it's all hand airbrushed. So there's a picture of the what the sanding looks like when it happens, and there's a picture of the before and after. I don't know if you can actually see the playfield was pretty worn, and then you got the playfield on this one here. It's pretty magical. We did like a futuristic clear plastic theme to it. And I got a few more pics. Maybe I can show you from the website after. So we did the Pinball Expo machine. And uh, it, like I said, it's about 100 hours a month of work to do. Um, and it's something that everybody wants or loves. Now let me get to the final point. Um, make this a little smaller. So why should you choose us to do the custom job? You know, there's a few people. There's at least one person in every state that does it, that's been doing it for a long time. The key differentiator in the marketplace is that we do the, air, the play field by hand, hand airbrush. Nobody does that anymore because it just takes too long. So it's a one-off. There's only going to be one of that machine made. If you're doing a, you know, a Jack Daniels or if you're doing a, an NFL-themed machine that you want done a certain way, you have a corporate event. You want to have a Christmas party with all kinds of stuff. People like to rent 
those picture booths for fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Why not have a machine that you can keep and hold and save? So, at this point in time, I'm going to take a few questions. Um, if if you guys uh, want to ask some questions about the, the processes, yeah, Dave. So yeah, it would be a decal if the client wanted specific. Uh, we have done uh, some plastics with pictures in them through a decal, but again, they have to be high resolution uh, pictures. Okay. Anybody else? So if you're from overseas, uh, from London, England, like Martin is here, uh, we also have a connection for great shipping rates. And of course, you know, 20 years shipping pinballs, you have a lot of experience when it comes down to shipping it. Customs is changing every day, the rules and regulations. So, um, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, but in addition to shipping the pinball, Ship My Pinball will also uh, allow you to uh, hire a third party to clear the, 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 the pinball for you at Customs. You know, there's a lot of deals out there that don't get done because people don't know how to do it. So we want to give you the tool at a click of a, of a mouse to give you all the information you need to get the pinball you need. So A, you can use those services to ship a pinball to us that we can custom develop for you. Or B, you can use it to ship pinball machines to people out there that want to buy your machines. What normally you, you often hear, I wish you were closer. And so this hopefully will cater to the needs of the community uh, we're not out there to compete with anybody. We're out there to say, hey, look, let's, let's, let's all get together and, and, and do some good for the community, create some really cool original pinball machines. And maybe I'm going to take another minute to just show you the, the website. And I don't have my mouse connected here. So, And what I, I think I have a few more pictures for you on the website. I did. That's our website. So this gives you a more detailed of the, of the details and the accuracy. Accuracy and detail is everything, especially on the play field. I like the way, you know, on the back end, the way Stern is, is on there. I think we also even put Chicago Gaming there. And then uh, I think on my website here we have some other, there's a 35th anniversary logo back glass. So we actually, for the one that's here for the show, we actually have an alternate back glass so that Rob can use the machine every year. So he'll keep the 35th anniversary as a collector's edition and we've replaced uh, that, that one with a, just a pinball expo uh, back glass. Let me see if I can get to some more. Here's some pictures of some of the custom work that we're doing. We just did a Las Vegas Vegas Nights. We also, and it's something important I forgot to mention, uh, we can put sound systems. Of course, that's extra. So the Vegas Night one that we're doing now has a full sound system where that song, when they come on the ice, plays ACDC's music. So we, we triggered the machine to do the exact same thing. So we're seeing a lot of subwoofers nowadays. So here's a good example of some of the custom work that we've done. I think you can appreciate the pictures more than uh, words can describe. The detail of the work is impeccable. We also have done... <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> what, there's no, there are more Bruins fans in Montreal now than there are Canadians fans. Come on, guys. You should know that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's remarkable work. There's the Pinball Expo. Pinball. There's the alternate back glass I was talking about. We use every year. You know, and some people have certain preferences with the kind of bulbs they want to see. Not too bright or whatever. And so even on the back header. 
it's pretty much what you want. Can I get a little feedback on how uh, we've done a Ferrari, some car dealerships want? Anybody can give me some feedback of what your thoughts are on what our offering? Here's a Habs one. That was an earlier machine. Uh, processes got a, this is in a, in a Porsche dealership in Montreal. It's pretty cool, I think, anyway. Can I get some feedback, guys? How do you feel? Yeah? Do you know what your street level is? Pardon me? Do you know what your street level is? Can you clarify? We can retheme a black knight is the answer. It's just it, you know, I'm giving you the base price of three to thirty five three thousand to thirty five hundred. If I have to do another twenty hours just to do the mini play field, you know, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement on pricing. You know, we get great discounts on shipping, so maybe we can leverage it that way. Some more machines. Oh, look at this one. Any Hawks fans here? One? Really? We're in Chicago and there's only one fan? Come on. Who's your fan? So again, let me stress, it's a one-off. There's only one of these made. We're never going to make the same one ever again. It's an artist's rendition. It's a work of art. We don't have any licensing issues with anybody. It never have. Here's a motorcycle one. This was mine, actually. There's a nice piece of work on the play field. Can you show the background of that one? Yeah. Now, there's a way we've learned, there's a way to make those lights stand out less with some kind of a diffuser before the light. And so it'll diffuse the, the light more, more evenly instead of spots like that. So the other thing is, as we go, there's a lot more techniques that we learn. Go ahead. A lot. A lot. See, that's the plastic I was talking to you about, Dave. So if you have a picture, we can put the picture on the plastics, too. That's another one. So you have to find, uh, uh, in French, we say le milieu, the happy middle. And um, we don't want to impede on the artist's style because I, I find if I let him run with the ball, like, for example, the, the pinball expo, the way you see it on the play field, immediately Rob said, I, I got to turn sideways to see the logo. And I, I, I said, listen, Rob, you got to let my artist run with the ball here. You know, I think this is the right move. All right. So we did it, and it turned out really well. So, of course, that brings up another point. What if you'll always see the design before we go to airbrush? Of course, you have, you're submitting a design of what we, what we, you know, what we're, what the work is that we're supposed to do. You know, and if you have digital high res pick, see, there's a another example of how airbrush is. I think I didn't. I haven't uploaded the Go Vegas Golden Knight one yet. But I will. But there's another example of the plastics we were talking about, Dave. So I, I'd like to get from you guys a little bit of uh, feedback as to what your thoughts are on custom pinballs. And is, is that something that you feel uh, you may do one day on a, a machine that has been sitting in the garage that you haven't looked at or touched because the play feels pretty worn down? And, You think it's awesome for you oh, guys? Yeah. yeah, you're the third person today that came to me and said, we want one for our bar. Yeah, we, we, we. Thank you. 
Any, can I get some feedback from somebody else who's been in the who's been in the pinwall world for a long time and what your thoughts are on on these machines and this idea? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why we leveraged it. That's why I talked to you about the discounts I get from the shipping companies. If I can ship a pinball to Puerto Rico, a Gorgar, for $224, I can absorb the shipping costs as well. And, and when you're buying a garbage game, though, you have to make sure of two things. Once, it's not water damaged anywhere. You know, you don't want to build a Cadillac in, in, a, in, a, in a, I don't know, a rotted out frame, right? You don't want to put a new motor in a, in, a, in, a, in a car that has no frame left because of the winners. So you have to make sure, if it, especially if it's an SS that's been sitting in a, in a humid place, you want to make sure that all the contacts are, are clean and good and the boards, generally we put new boards in, you know. That's not included in the price of the pinball, but we give you that option at that time to do that. Go ahead. So you mean like putting in a pin sound card and, and, and uh, that's what you're referring to, right? We can, like I said to you before, um, we, we, we put sound systems in machines. That's an added cost on top of the $3,000, three uh, which tell you what that cost is. Typically, I think, you know, you can buy a, a good sound system and, and have it installed for 500 bucks. It can be songs that you can change on a USB key put the songs that you want the pl pinball to play you know we'll can we can add so the answer to your question is yes if if it's that type of thing are we going to remodify an existing machine completely on a on that level for different sound on the not yet i don't believe we should even want to touch that does that answer your question yeah super i think there was one more back there I see. So, so messages for, give me an example of what you would like to see. Uh, we've never done it, and it's something we're open to exploring. If that's what the community is calling for, this is all about, you know, the experience. It's not just about, you know, the dollar. Yeah. Yep. Well, we have to evaluate what you want. Do you want a sound system? Do you want this is you tell me what it is that you want, we come back with you and we provide you a, a photo of what the play field would look like. We'll tell you what the theme will be, the colors and so on and so forth. And once you see it and approve it, then we'll go to will go to paint. I think there was a question here. Yeah. Are you redoing the mechanicals, you know, like flipper instead of being able to take If the flipper is obviously we notice that it's a it's a you know a deadbeat game that hasn't been played and the flippers are dead, we're gonna say, hey, we need you need a flipper rebuild here, which is what we did on on uh, on a, on the number of our machines. So mechanically I don't know how far we want to go, but if we see something that's mechanically not sound, we'll either. I have a technician that's been repairing machines for 50 years that I work with very, very closely, and we could add that to the cost of the pinball. Yeah? Absolutely. Absolutely. Send me the play field. I'll do your play field with what you want. Yeah. But that's where all the... Yeah, retheme. Yeah. Right. He's, he says, I'm not an airbrush artist, and I don't draw. I can build a machine, but I can't draw. So you do the drawing for me, and... But I can do all the rest. I do programs all the time, but I don't... 
Right. So that's exactly point well taken. So yeah, the answer is yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. Yeah, considerably a lot less. If you're just sending me a stripped play field is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I'd have to speak to my artist and come to a price. I'm sure that, you know, uh, it would be at least half of what, <laughs> what it costs. But the play field is, is the biggest part of the work. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, it was 1500 to $2,000 just the play field because that's where, you know, anybody can strip put back new parts onto the play field, that takes time, but that's not where the talent is. That's not what the key differentiator is. But yeah, we, we would come to a price and talk about that before. Absolutely. Thanks for the question. Sir, yep. When you're doing catalogs and possibly less common things, like are there any voice scouts that you Wow. Voice scouts Absolutely. I, I won't do the cabinet. I, we're not currently doing uh, uh, spraying out the cabinets. Uh, we're doing decals on the cabinets right now. As I mentioned before, the only airbrush artwork is being done on the play field. Eventually, as we grow the business, we're, we're going to look at doing the cabs as well. But right now, we're just set up for the play field um, jobs. But yeah, if you give me pictures again, I can have the, the, the machine uh, side art decaled. High resolution. Uh, you need ultra high res, almost like a logo. You know, when you get logos made, you need that PNG file or whatever it is, so to get the best punch out of the. You'll see the, the when you go see the Buccaneer pinball, pinball at the vendor booth, uh, my vendor booth there. You'll see uh, how punchy the, the 35th anniversary logo is by Yossi. It's uh, it's really impressive the way we can get that on a decal and on, onto a real back glass. And then I also started working with laminated glasses because glasses break in a million pieces tempered. So they're six millimeters instead of the standard five. And I find it, you know, the ball hits the glass, it's, it's soundproofs, it protects your pinball play field from UV rays. So that's just another thing I learned over the years that, that you know, and if you get a smash in shipping or whatever it is, which doesn't happen a lot, um, it's not going to break into a million pieces, which is what we want. So I think is there last I think that's it. And I want I want to thank Rob and everybody for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys.